if you'd like to see how I transform this plain bottle of tequila, Don Julio, into this beautiful, glamorous bottle, keep okay, watching this video. video. I am going to be adding some rhinestone embellishments to this bottle of tequila. It is called Don Julio Blanco. I guess that's the flavor of it. And this is a 750 milliliter bottle. Well, anyway, um, so this is a really hefty sized bottle of tequila. And someone saw the Patron bottles that I did and they liked it so much they wanted me to go ahead and do this bottle for someone. This is gonna be someone's Christmas gift. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. I am going to be using this very pretty sky blue jelly rhinestone. And I'm going to be using some crystal glass four millimeter rhinestones. And the jelly rhinestones are five millimeter. I'm just going to take these and outline this area right here. And then from, from that point on, I'm going to do the rest of this in all of this blue. All right, and I will be using liquid fusion glue. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I have this um, alcohol pad. I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe the whole bottle off. I like to do that before I add any rhinestones or anything I like to, the, to bottle, wipe the bottle off just, just in case there's any oils, dirt, or debris, or anything like that. I like to remove that before I add any embellishments. All right, and then dry that off. And then this is just my little wax pickup tool. Um, I purchased this off Amazon for about eight bucks a while ago. And this little precision tip bottle, um, they're about $7 for 10 of them on Amazon. So that way you don't have the big bottle squirting out all this um, glue everywhere. And so these really come in handy. See that little tip on there that can get in really small spaces so that that that's pretty good to have um so whenever i do start a bottle i like to go around the edge of the label now as you can see this bottle is indented where this label is but it looks like i guess from the company they put it on kind of lopsided. There's more space so, on this side than there is on this I'll side. I guess I'll just go with the flow based on how it is here. Then there's this lifted area that says Tequila Don Julio. And hmm, maybe I'll just go here. over that. So you can see that a little bit better. So you want to start off by placing your stones very closely to avoid any gapping or spacing. Just like this. And then as you get the hang of it, you can pick up speed, but there's definitely no rush if you want this to look good. So definitely just take your time. And just place your stones. Just like this. Okay, now I'm just going to continue on, then I'll check. Okay, so I just weighed these rhinestones on my scale, and it was um, approximately 30 grams, which is equivalent to 1,500 five millimeter jelly rhinestones. So this is 1,500 in stones. So that's a good way I can gauge. So once this is gone and I have to refill it, I'll make sure I measure whatever the other amount I put on here to give you an idea of how many rhinestones it would take. 
Um, so yeah, just a little. Cause I sometimes people ask me how many rhinestones did it take, it's really and I have to get the count. Yourself. I'm glad I thought about that. So just keep that in mind. This is 1,500 approximately. 1,500 rhinestones right here in this lid. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on. I'm just gonna start on the side right here. Go ahead and add some glue right here. And you probably really can't see that, but this blue is basically identical to the shade of blue that's inside of this bottle. So that's gonna give a really nice effect. And just make sure your rhinestones are nice and tight and close. And just go ahead and just keep watching to how I apply them. To lay the bottle down flat. And then I can just kind of go around in a circle and, and, and do it like this. Well, that's until I get to the back side of the bottle. So I'm about two, four. I'm about on my fifth row here. I'm finding that it's easier for me to just keep going around in a circle to try to just keep things nice. I'm still working, but look how much I've gotten done here. Isn't this just so beautiful? I am just so in awe at how lovely this looks. Like I just really, 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 for some reason like this. I like how it's just certain bottles that you can do certain things with, with the labeling and everything. So as you can see, I did this area right here just to round it off and to trace the label with these clear glass stones. No iridescent um, stones here. The blue, sky blue jelly stones are iridescent. Well, they're AB. AB has this effect. Whatever color it is, it's gonna have that iridescent effect to it. But I just, I thought it would be very nice to just have the plain clear glass. Now these are not resin, these are glass. And I will have a link for those. That's four millimeter. And so trace the get... label with the four millimeter glass stones. Just kind of keep your hands steady. Get them close together. This is so simple, you guys. I don't want any of my DIYs to seem like is something that you can't do. Cause I just feel like you can because at one point I didn't know how to do any of this stuff. You know, you watch enough videos, get the materials you need and you practice and you get better and better and better. And for me, this is therapeutic. I like for things to look very pretty and cute and sparkly and it's just very relaxing to me so I have to do this I have to have some type of arts and crafts in my life as crazy as that may sound but I have to so if this can become something like that for you that's amazing as well if you have too much time on your hands or you feel like you get bored, find you a hobby. Find you a hobby that you enjoy. You don't want to have your mind too idle. That can be dangerous sometimes. Read a book, join a book club, exercise. That's just my advice. A little tip. Get some type of hobby. Some people say they're not creative. I feel like everyone is creative. Some people are more creative than others. 
but do something, get some type of hobby. So yeah, just continue to watch me add these rhinestones. Okay, as you can see, I, this is what I have after using all 1,500 of those rhinestones. So I'm just going to add a few more. I probably added about another 800 rhinestones. Um, so I want to say I used about maybe 3,300, about, no, 2,500 rhinestones approximately. And here is the final look of this Don Julio tequila bottle and I think it looks absolutely glamorous. I love the way the colors of the clear and the clear glass and the sky blue AB rhinestones mesh so well with the color of this bottle. You guys this is going to be such a great Christmas gift for someone because that's who my client said this is going to be a Christmas gift or it's a great gift for yourself or birthdays thank you guys so much for watching this video please give this a thumbs up if you'd like to subscribe to my channel that would be awesome if not that's fine too thanks again bye bye